What's up, y'all? So this is going to be my second time um, using the 0.5 millimeter thermal roller. I had to soak it in a little bit of hot water, but let me go ahead and continue to soak it in a little bit more hot water. Um, I should have put in some alcohol, but this time I was a little too tired, so I'm going to apply my moisturizer a little gently. I already washed my face with a little bit of my Marie France Kojic Acid Soap and my Murad's and Vitamin C Show Essential C Cleanser. Now, the moisturizer of this thing is like, oh my god, like, girl, you better go ahead and get on that ball to like get some money. I know a lot of us lost our jobs. I never worked to begin with, except for when I was in my last year of college and I had an internship to work for my major, which was business administrative accountancy. So I did the uh, I did the BA part, and then went ahead to the accounting department to do what I specialized in. So anyway, besides that. What I am aiming to do, my goal here is to reduce as many scars as I can. I do have a automated derma pen, not to be mistaken with like the well, actually derma pen, right? Um, I didn't mean to say like derma pen, automatic, automatic or automated derma pen yesterday. I meant to say like derma stamp, which is totally different from like the derma pen. But I guess God is telling me not to use it because it did sort of destroy my skin before. And um, I would use like a 0.25 size needle anyway. I don't know, like I used it on my arm the last time I had used the Funky Mommy's All Over Body Pillow Oil. It was just pillow on you in general. And that was that. I put it somewhere, don't know where I put it, but I would definitely check my PC box where I had um, received my case or hopefully I did not toss it in the garbage along with like the other boxes that I had. So right now I just want to massage this into my skin as gently as I can. So anyway, how are you guys doing? I made a video a little bit before this discussing about what the hell is going on here, not only in New York, but also other states as well. Um, let me just wash this off my hand. So I don't want to be too slippery when I'm going to when I, you know, hold my skin taut. Basically, um, hold my skin in place so that I can get it even. <sighs> so that the needles could penetrate, um, actually roll and not tag, you know, like tag onto any parts of my skin. So, how are you guys doing? I'm not using a headset today, as you can notice. So, auto, uh, Audio quality might be a little harsh, forgive me for that. I am working on getting a good audio setup and working on getting a better camera. So I've been using my phone cameras for a really long time, but that doesn't matter because a lot of subscribers that have million, a lot of um, you, uh, content creators, I don't call myself a YouTuber. Okay, some people had, and I'm like, no, I'm just a content creator, you know, like, I wouldn't even call myself that, like, the larger I got, so, anyway, I'm just gonna try my needle off here, because it is a little white, and I hate when tissue gets stuck in here, but that's okay, so, remember, it is one, two, three, four, horizontally, one, two, three, four, um, that is vertically, and then you want to go crosswords, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, I'm going to start with my, um, let's just crank up the brightness just a little bit. I need to get a light sign for this bathroom. Like, I've been too cheap, and a lot of you would say, oh, you pay so much on your skincare, but you can't afford to get light. Well, oh, well. So, I'm going to start with here. My skin has cleared up a lot using... Um, the TCA, and then after that, I had some hyperpigmentation, but I went ahead and used the pillow oil from Funky Mamas, or Funky, it used to be Funky Mamas, but now it's Funky Mommy, I believe, from bblemishfree.com, and, um, 
it really did help to remove some hyperpigmentation it lightened up some areas of my skin such as right here as you can notice so and right here as well so a lot of you said that it pretty much messed up your skin it didn't mess up my skin but what is going on is that my skin is peeling not in layers but instead like little tiny um like dots i'll go ahead and show the future if i'm not feeling lazy so anyway there we go it's kind of hard to talk as well when you're doing this so um what i'm going to do after i'm, I'm finished with this just to get the product to penetrate because the point of using a 0 0.50 um, and actually I went to the pharmacy today too and they did not give me my tretinoin and it sh I mean it should be there like it should be anyway that's what I'm so upset about because I could have applied this after what time is it? well it's 4.11 and it's not too dark outside uh, light outside since it's been raining but um, you still don't want to apply your retinols or your retinase or your retin um, your retinols, <laughs> your retinase, or any um, vitamin C to your skin. Vitamin A, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, except for in the evening time, and you really have to use a sunscreen regardless if you are African American or not, which most dermatologists won't even tell you, um, what will happen if you don't wear sunscreen when you are using um, any alpha hydroxy acids or beta hydroxy acids, as I stated in yesterday's videos, that you're going to put yourself at risk for um, having very, very uh, sensitive, photosensitive skin. So. Um, and it's, your sun is basically what I would call a sun magnet, which is a word that I use, a term I used to use a while back. So I coined that term, okay? So I'm going to go along the jawline area. And I'm going to make a few passes through here. I might be a little bit off count too because I'm talking and running my mouth. But I'm just trying to let you all know what's going on. What I did notice when um, I got up and washed my face, first thing with my Marie France, I didn't use my essential um, cleanser from Mirai yet, yeah, except for just now, I don't think so. Um, I noticed a little bit of exfoliating in this area right here, so that's pretty much what's going to happen. Um, I might pass through some areas a little bit more then um, four times coming um, horizontally, vertically, and um, crossword. So, but you don't want to overdo it. Want to overdo it? I know if I had my derma pen, it would be so much easier, especially to get areas like right here. But I don't know where is that. But I'm going to dig, dig uh, deep for it. So this is just basically giving me a little cramp in my neck. Anyway, do you all notice how the camera puts a little bit weight on my like face? Like when I'm up close. Let me see if I can get it to do it. No, I can't. I don't know this camera is shit. But when I'm using a different color scheme to bring out the real um, skin tone of mine, which I am now, um, certain filters actually have a zoom effect. It zooms more into the face and then others like this one that I'm using now, which helps to... Um, show more of what my skin color actually look like because it sets like the tone for more light if even if I was to brighten it up the screen up a little bit which I need to do I'm sure it'll look a lot better to me so I can see everything here so I'm gonna go past let me see here one two three four five six seven eight 
maybe a little bit more. I know that sound is an anno a annoying. <laughs> and that comes from all of the product that has um, went across the little um, areas here. So um, in between the areas, which won't affect your skin anyway because it's not like you're using that side like it's more like um right here and you're using the top of the needle so let me not touch my needle i can't wait for things to return back to normal summer is almost here and i want to start getting dressed again like um i haven't gotten dressed for the winter time i only bought like two pair of north face pants um, Artitech and it shit didn't do anything for the winter for me. Like, the Artitech pad, like, supposedly is a technology from North Face where it helps, uh, yes, a lot of clothes that are integrating technology into their, their, like, clothing, like, uh, materials to actually help with certain things, such as the heat. So these pans are made for, like, when it's too hot, it's supposed to cool you down. Or when it's too cold, it's supposed to help warm you up. Bullshit. Okay, so. So I'm just gonna go. And then. You don't gotta be perfect with this when you're, you know, going on crossword, but just make sure you do crosswords in each area that you run horizontally um, and vertically in, okay? Which I didn't do here, I don't think. So, as you can see, it turns a little red. Turns very red. Oh, you can also use this for hair growth if you suffer with anything such as um, alope uh, how do you say, alopecia or any type of hair loss disease or that you suffer with, this is great. Especially if you tag along Tretinoin, which also helps to um, penetrate into the, how do you say, delays of the hair, I forgot how to, how to say it because I haven't, like I'm not really into hair, but I used to be. You might notice some bleeding too, and more exfoliation when I do this the next day. Definitely noticeable because I'm going past here a little bit more than normal. And I really want to get the scar right here. I don't know why the TCA didn't get the scar right here. So you don't have to, it's no like no precise pattern you have to follow. Just as long as you do like a crossword, you can start with the crossword first. You don't have to go horizontally first. You can go vertically first. You can go horizontally first. You can go vertically first and then, you know, after doing it verti you know, vertically, excuse me, after doing a crossword, um, do it horizontally or do it vertically, whichever way feels uh, comfortable enough for you, so. It may be a little bleeding too. Because I'm applying a little bit more pressure to my skin than normal. And I can actually feel and hear the needles tear open into my skin, which is something that a lot of you, <laughs> as I said yesterday, would not like at all. Um, also, one of you told me that you use your derma um, needle all the time and you love it. So, I just want to know, because um, you're one of my new subscribers, have you ever used the derma pen? And what were your results with the derma pen if you tried that out? The derma pen is much more effective 
and efficient, efficient and effective. Because it's quicker and you can work faster. Um, but the thing about it is like, you know, most dermatologists claim that dermal rollers um, tend to the skin a lot more harshly than the dermal pin. Where actually, it's a dermal pin because if you don't uh, apply something on your skin, such as something that really would help this, like the needles to glide across the skin, such as Vaseline or um, hyaluronic acid or glycerin, forget it. Like, you're really going to tuck those needles into it. And I think that's what happened with my skin before. Like, uh, right after my grandmother died a few years ago, my skin was looking great, remember? And then I went ahead and used the Derma pen like a dumbass. And that messed my skin up. So, no, no skin creams have anything to do with what happened to my skin. I suffer with cystic acne. I have been suffering with cystic acne ever since I was 12. So 14 years, well basically almost 15 years. I'll be 27, it's October the 2nd. Okay, I'm mugging out. Okay, so since the age of 12, I had been using it, um, I have been suffering with cystic acne, so I'm going to be 27, so basically, um, like 15 years, almost, I said that, right? I don't remember. Anyway, they would have fired me so quick if I was, but then again, maybe not, like, I mean, I just need to, I haven't really worked in my profession after graduating, so, Oh, 17 minutes. I'll be right, right back. I didn't mean to go over 15, uh, 17 minutes. I didn't even pay attention, but I hope. I don't think I'll be able to upload this in quiet uh, HD like I did with my other two videos. And if I will, it's going to take a long time, so. I can hear it, like, really tearing into my skin like right here like my skin is like popping and it's like you don't want to do this like a paintbrush like stay on one side okay and even if you do decide to go like um a couple of uh, how do you say like a, a, a inch over from like where you do from here like not even an inch but half of an inch uh, make sure you do come back to the area where you miss so I'm gonna do this one more time As you can see, there is a dermatologist here on YouTube who highly recommends derma rollers. He is one of the best dermatologists and he has a YouTube channel. I want to link you to him, but I don't want to lose my subscribers to him. So, um, even though we both have different content that I'm sure like wouldn't have me lose you guys as sub. So let me see if I got any a little tiny bit of blood I came on. Now I don't get my forehead area and the reason why that is, let me check real quick my skin. I don't get my forehead area and the reason why that is is because my forehead area is the, cl the clearest area on my skin. Um, and as I was saying yesterday, I wish my like cheek areas, size of my face can be as clear as my forehead. But when I went to the dermatologist at one time, they made me feel so bad. They were like, "Well, yeah, 
like your forehead area look nice but the, i'm like oh, okay well you guys know you that you're here to help me and um i mean at least could i have said what we're gonna make um your cheek area you know like the side of your face look you know more um not perfect nothing is perfect even perfect skin that people call i mean skin that people call perfect is not perfect okay except for god himself who has the most perfect skin because he glows brighter than the sun I know I'm not supposed to be this rough, but I'm so sick of these these scars. Like, y'all don't understand. You can do like this, like um, and then. And then go up and down to make things easier and then go horizontally across so I'm gonna do the same thing that I just did here one more time to the side of my face and the crossword method going this side first I think I got right here, so that, and then I'm gonna go like that, and then start going uh, vertically and horizontally. After that, I will apply a little bit more of my moisturizer, and later on, I'm going to apply some of my um, clinic clears. Oops. Cholic acid, um, <sighs> body lotion. I need a face lotion with cholic acid, but it's so hard to find them. So I might have a little blood. Well, not even as good. Well, yeah, some. Where is it? Like, right. You can't even see it, like, right there, but I would get under my neck, but I'll save that for another day when I do a TCA. So I am going to use a tiny amount. So hot in here, but I don't want to open my window because I don't have um, a screen. So a lot of the stupid ass flies start getting in the house. There was something that I seen on Rite Aid when Rite Aid did exist. I'm sure it's at Walgreens now, where um, it's like a fly zapper that you hang up at your door and. Whichever area in your house that you want, but I prefer using like at least two. It was going to sell for like, excuse me, $14 or something like that. And um, what it does is help with attracting the flies to the light, which they are attracted to, and then zapping out of that. So, now this thing, a little tiny bit, not a lot. But as you can notice, my skin is very red. Again, as I said before. And I just want to massage this into my skin, like, the best way that I can. Just to boost some blood flow into my skin. And for this way, I can wake up the skin cells, such as collagen. 
wake up the dermis and especially the upper dermis which is between with the collagen so this way it can alert the other cells of my skin to wake up and work together to give me prosper glowing skin which doesn't even make any sense so I'm gonna use a little bit of Primaris um, Hydrate and Glow Alpine Berry Water Cream now this stuff you don't want a lot of since it is a water cream um, it penetrates into the skin and it gives your skin that natural glow if I see any results from this thing, which I actually do already like I see that my skin glows nicely after using it and actually I was supposed to use it from the top that's why like you still shake your product up no matter how small it is it may not seem like this um, shaking up as it actually is and then you gently just stretch it around the skin okay I already had got some moisturizer on my eyes from my mirror essential sea moisturizer so I don't feel like there's any need for me to go ahead and um I mean maybe I'll get the top of my eyes just to see like how it looks and if your forehead is sweating a little bit that's a good thing because if you're you know product is penetrating even more. That's the thing that happened with the Funky Mommy's Pillow Oil. I should have had waited for the summertime to purchase it. It's what I should have had did. So. So now I'm going to use some of this Amir Amiraz City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. I think that helps to exfoliate my skin as well. I think it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is perfect to use after doing any derma pin or derma roller session. Oh man, this video is going to take a long time to... So what I'm going to do is send this over to my computer and find me um, the same video editing software that I use, which they do have. Since I'm using a um, SSD, which is extremely very fast, though, and I can edit in 4K since I'm using a 1660 Super um, GPU, and have the video uploaded to you guys ASAP. Now, a lot of you may be saying, "Oh my God, like." You know, that's too much. You're using too much. You're applying too much to your skin. Bullshit. Like, if you go and look at some of these celebrity skin routines, child, please. These have to be using, like, 8 and 10 and 15 products. Like, it's like, damn. Like, do you really need all of that? Is that necessary? You know what I'm saying? Girl, child, honey, sugar. And I'm not trying to be funny. I am naturally funny when I'm happy and not trying to be. I mean, but I am naturally funny. These smart people are naturally funny. I'm not going to let anybody put me down. Don't let anybody push you down. If you feel like you're a beautiful person and you want to say it, go ahead. I mean, it's not wrong when people say that my daughter is very... People get mad when you even say, oh, my kids are so beautiful, you know. Trust me, I've seen it. Like, if my aunt calls her grandkids beautiful or gorgeous, my sister and my mom get mad. And I'm like, so, meaning if you don't have your own kids, treat yourself like your own damn child, right? So, and I just state that, you know, I'm a little bit upset with some of you because I didn't, you know, I used to tell you guys all the time that I love you. I think my battery is dying, so let me hurry up. But I didn't start getting like, um, you know, I love you back until my skin had like enough. And I think that you guys should really love someone, not only based on their skin, complexion, or skin tone, or color, undertone, whatever. You know, I want to be loved for me. That's Kevin. And I'll apply a little bit of the moisturizer to my 
um, face. I might be going out tonight. I was supposed to have met this guy yesterday, this afternoon dude, real sexy and chocolate. So I'm going to apply a little bit of my Me Magic Most High Benefits Tinted One Primer, Detangling Your Face Body and Heat Protecting um, Primer from Eva New York. You can also use this for curly or well, just like um, wavy hair without using heat. It contains argan oil in it, so. And that brings out my waves even more. I need to start wearing my do rag more. So I want for my waves to be a little bit deeper. But I just want to know what the heck is this thing with guys and waves? Um, one guy came up to me and he's like, oh, your waves are so natural. And I looked at him like, get out of here. Like, you fucking loser. <laughs> like, ew. You know, like. Not not being mean, but just the way like he came up to me, like you know, like what was you expecting from me, like you, you know, like you're basically saying that kinky hair can be beautiful, and kinky hair is beautiful. Okay, we've been brainwashed to believe otherwise, but anyway, I just want to thank those of you who are subscribed to my channel. Thanks so much for being subscribed. For those of you who are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, also, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, smash that like button, and leave a comment underneath the comment section below. I really want to think what you guys think about this, this shit that's going on. I really, I, it's just unbelievable and crazy. So, um, just stay in, stay safe. Uh, we're expecting for not a second wave, but actually this first wave to get worse i mean the first wave never left honey okay like this first thing never left so it's going to get worse especially with what is going on with these protesters and people just going crazy the house so i love you all and take care bye Jeez. Smile.